Um, all right. Shalom, we're the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, okay, which is known as Babylon the Great according to the scriptures. First and foremost, we're going to give all the praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Harakai Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders at Ruel, at Great Millstone, and salutations to all you sincere Akim that are preaching this word in all truth and to and sincerity. So, you know, without uh, further ado, we're just going to get right into it. Uh, you can start at Psalm uh, 64. Uh, you know, if you're paying attention to the news, uh, you see what's going on with all these immigrants. Now, Esau is uh, publishing and portraying uh, Jake as being a... Uh, uh, take place, you know. The scriptures talk about how we're going to be cursed here as a people. Okay. See you Started five? Yeah. Alright. In Psalm 64 and 5, it says, They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. Yeah, they're, 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 they encourage themselves in an evil matter. And what, what is what is the evil matter that they encourage themselves in is to eliminate Jacob. Okay. Is to keep you Israelites. To keep you Israelites in a dumbed down state. Okay? That's why they got all this entertainment. That's why they got all this food that's full of chemicals, man. They encourage themselves in keeping you from finding the truth. Okay. They pay off these other Israelite groups to teach you bullshit. Alright? Uh, it says, uh, they encourage themselves in the evil path. They commune of laying snares privily. Yeah, they lay, they lay snares privily. And one of the snares that they're laying privily is that they got you Northern Kingdom games coming out. Gang members, you're all criminals. Starting a coup between, uh, uh, you know, the citizens of America against these immigrants. When we understand, according to the scriptures, that, you know, a lot of you are heathen, that a lot of you don't want to get right, but amongst you, there's some that are seeking out a better life. There's some of you that are going to find, yeah, I was shy. Okay, but that trap, that snare they're laying is that all of you are, are wicked men, you know? That all of you ain't right, you know? Oh, oh, all the Haitians coming in, they're all eating cats and dogs, you know? Which is bullshit, man. What kind of person gonna run in somebody's backyard starting to eat this? Start eating cats raw. They're portraying the image that Jake is a fucking savage. Just running up in backyards and eating live cats. Eating live dogs. Fucking you know, woman's mom came to me talking to me that 
thousand dollars is free, three people's yards to eat their ass. <laughs> eating their chickens, just biting chicken hands off. <laughs> and all you can do is just be like, oh. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Whoa. Because you, know, you can't tell these people anything. They believe whatever the fucking babysitter tells them. The two. Yeah. The babysitter, like cable guy. It's true, it's called television programming. You know? Isn't that what they did like back in the uh like the fifties when they was they were saying Jake could get high on weed and just be raped and white women? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, grief for madness. Grief for madness. <laughs> That's the banned fucking marijuana cannabis. Oh shit. Saying that Jake was just going around getting blitzed. <laughs> and raping white bitches, man. Eating white bitches, man. Oh man. You know? I mean, if we're saying white, but we're going to be you know? Which is, which is bullshit. That's a whole, another reason why they, uh, they made it illegal to have multiple wives. Because you're going to Jake, you know, full of testosterone for being slaves from working all fucking day. Just going around, popping fucking young Irish women. Okay? I'm sure amongst of those eating my women. But you know, Jake was getting all them, you know, Irish women. And Esau put that band and was like, nah. You know, Jake, Jake, Jake gentrified too much. Jake in the, in the fucking Esau's territory taking over. You know? So Esau put that band out there. You can't have multiple wives. Because, you know, you could, you could, you could do all kinds of things to Jake, but as long as Jake has food and some pussy, it's, it's all right. You know, you know, you can walk Jake in the cell. Jake a plain man. Yeah, Jake a plain man, to all he says. You just give Jake some, some drink, some food. Dude, the woman don't even have look that good. Samuel, Samuel Jackson. You know, Chappelle's kid. You know, the Samuel, Samuel Jackson. So it'll have you fucking fat women in no time. You know? Just give Jake some alcohol, he'll fucking fuck anything. Start a nation with a fat bitch. So Jake, Jake and astonishment, a, a byword, a proverb, you know? Hey, I mean, how come <laughs> we got all these uh, immigrants coming from Ukraine and China, from, from China, from, you know, the, 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 the Iraqi people? Yeah. Nobody said shit about them, man. But then Jake come over here, and now they, they're eating your cats, and yeah. stealing your jobs, and they're all gangs, <laughs> gang members. Yeah, they're, they're all they're all murderers and rapists. When they when they literally got uh, actual terrorists coming through, part of the Taliban and all that bullshit. They don't say nothing. Well, they don't, you don't hear that. You hear nothing about that, but you hear about Haitians eating people's cats. Yeah. Like that's the biggest fucking problem America has right now. Hey, you look at all these like motels, like Travel Lodge and Days Inn, and they're putting all them refugees there, man. All the Middle Eastern refugees. And it's, it's a lot of young women, children, and, and, and middle-aged, young, young grown men, military men. And the brother said a lot of, a lot of them are, are terrorists, man. They're, they're, they're sleepers. They're going to activate them. Oh, you see that video I posted with this stuff? They were talking about how uh, they were like gangsters, cholos. And you say, you say, man, homie, he 
He's like, if there's another terrorist attack, it's going to be from the Talking about the refugees, man. You know? And you go to these travel lodges, you just pass by them. There's a lot of them Middle Eastern people. more laws to uh, implement martial law. You know, to blame you Jakes, man. Because the scriptures do say that we're entering into a time of Jacob's trouble. Where everything's going to be closed, you know. Oh, the scripture that mentions uh, and the doors shall be shut in the street. I'm talking about these businesses, man. These stores, these restaurants. Everything closed down. You know? Time of Jacob's trouble, man. Oh, hell for you. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Yeah, so you're supposed to remember the creator. You're supposed to be... You know, working out your salvation between you and Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Between you, the Heavenly Father, and His Son. Okay. That's what it means to remember the Creator, man. To acknowledge and repent to the Lord, man. To work out your salvation, man. Because the time is going to come where all hell is going to break loose. And then it's like, it's like that, those two days, you had the Isakar day, you had the other day that came through, probably didn't right? And they don't know, you know, they kind of, they don't know where their heads are. Like, like, I was thinking about it, man. It's like, if you, if you listening to the word, but you over here still in the world, you know, you know, straddling the fence. Honestly, we could be waiting for you, man. <laughs> you could be who we're waiting for, for all this stuff to go down, man. It might, it might just be you. Watching the video, the way. Oh, I don't know yet. I don't know. Like, you might be one of the elect that just. We're all just waiting on you, man. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art not warm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So you want to be on the take full advantage of the truth. You know? Because this is, this is your calling. This is, this is our calling. This is the only thing we have. This is it. Everything you've been searching for. The truth. The answers. All your questions. It's right here. You know? Your future. Your destiny. It's all right here, man. Serve you all by Shimmy Al Shai. You know, to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know? So you want to be on fire. You know? All, all hands on deck, as they say, you know? Because this is it. You know? This is what we've been waiting for. So. Yeah, this is a scripture that says that, uh, Faith without works is dead, man. So, and faith is a gift. And what was it, James? And James said, uh, "I'll show my, I'll show my faith by my works." You know. Yeah, show me your faith by your works. And I'll show my faith by my works. Right. Because faith without works is dead. Yeah. If you if you believe in the Lord. You know, it starts with that. It starts with 
faith. The Lord has to give you that, that gift of faith, of belief. And then you got to understand the fear of the Lord. And then you got to grow that fear. And that's how you're going to grow, you know, your relationship with the Lord, man. Yeah, because through the fear, you start to, you start to count, you start to watch your, your steps. You start to make corrections, which it works. You start putting off the old man, you know, becoming a new creature, you know. Those are works. You gotta actually, uh, uh, what do you call it? You gotta actually, uh, what's, what's the word? You gotta actually work on, on, on and then you gotta fight Satan. You know, you gotta actually work to get Satan up off you so you can cleanse yourself. You do that through the fear. And whatever demons you got on you, the Lord will heal you of those things. The Lord will actually heal you. If you have a drug addiction, if you stop doing that drug, the Lord will heal you. You won't, you, you know, you won't need that drug anymore. But you do, you do that through, you fight it through the fear of the Lord, through the scripture. You know, you gotta, you gotta understand, you know, the judgment, which is you being destroyed, man. The Lord, you know, doing away with you. But first, you have to fear the Lord, you have to believe. There's a lot of people that don't believe, they don't give a fuck, man, I don't care. Or they have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge, you know? Because a lot of our people are, are quote, religious, you know? They believe in a higher power, they believe in, you know, Jesus. But that's not according to knowledge, you know? They're going to church, and then they're still committing to sin. Well, that's, that's why there's that scripture that says the Lord is going to destroy the righteous with the wicked, man. You know, it says in the scripture, still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yeah. You know, all you Israelites that believe in God, man. Yeah, because James created to be righteous. So he can destroy you with this world, man, because you, you, you know you're holding on to this shit. Well, remember Lot's wife. You know, you know a lot of our people that acknowledge your Israelites. Shai can destroy you. Because it's the knowledge. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai only loves those that dwell with wisdom. Man. Because you having wisdom shows that you believe in, 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 in this truth. If you don't believe, <coughs> the Lord's going to destroy you. And it says, I will also forget thy children. It's just like the mafia, you know, like, you know, the mob. When, when somebody gets whacked, everybody that's under that mob boss gets whacked. So by you not believing, okay, the Lord is not going to save your children, man. You know, unless that child believes. Of course. Unless that child believes on his own. Like when we see that child in the room. Right. You know, his parents could be totally wicked, or his family yeah. could be desperately wicked, and he believes in the Lord. The Lord ain't gonna destroy him because his parents don't believe. Him. Or say a woman. A woman believes in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. But her husband don't. It says that the Lord could have mercy on her husband because she believes. 
So you know that's why it's that's why we're actually out here as well to preach this to our people as a whole. Cause there could be, you know, like the brother in the big camp on the Instagram brother him, but he's up to all his grandma beliefs. Yeah. You know, we told us it was grandma and his grandmother believed. And the Lord got mercy on him for that. And the Lord will have mercy on whom you have mercy. You know. When we're all, we all commit sin. You know, not one of us is perfect. And, and there's some brothers, you know, that, that sin. Crazy. Bro, we all sin, man. Crazy sins. We bug out from time to time. But you know what? The Lord said he's going to have mercy on whom he has mercy. To remember it and pray for the sure mercies of David. Yeah, we have we have examples of countries like what happened with David. You know, that he committed some pretty bad ones, man. Paul, Paul, uh, he was persecuting the church, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, David, David uh, uh, sent a man out to the murder just so he could have that man's wife. Man, that's heavy. Lord have mercy on him, man. He came with a price, but have mercy on him. You know, us being here in Babylon, things happen to us because we're still paying for our sins. You know? You know, I wish I covered it, but we still, we still have, we still sit. Like he tells you in Baruch, we are yet this day in our kingdom. You know, when the Lord has scattered us because we sinned. You know? Right. Because if the Lord wanted to, He could just take us out of here right now. You know, remember uh, Solomon? He said, uh, if all your people would turn to the east and pray and repent to the Lord, the Lord would send us out of this. So it's, it's, it, it can happen. But the Lord has prophecy set up to where it's not going to happen. But it's there because that's all it will take is for all Israel to believe and turn to the Lord. See, that's how much you know the Lord loves Israel. Man. But He said, "Just believe me and, and, and repent, and I'll have mercy on you. I'll save you." And then you got demons on him. Yeah, then you need to be saved. You know. Yeah, I wish I died for the nation of Israel. Okay, starting with the elect. But that nigga gonna come back in the kingdom. He's gonna be in his right mind. He's gonna be babbling. Right, right. Oh, uh, what, what about what happened there to Peter? 
So either swine will justify it. Oh, like that bugged out Israelite. Wait till you see what we do for Christmas. For Thanksgiving. You know? In his mind, you know, they developed their own consciousness. They you know? wish I died for them to be able to commit sin freely. You know, uh, what is it called? Uh, sins knowingly, man. openly committing sin. You know, that's their own righteousness. You know, our people go to church, believe whatever the pastor says, because the pastor promoted their own righteousness upon the people of these religions. They think it's okay. You know, but that's not the knowledge of the Lord. The scripture says that Yahweh Bashim Shai doesn't change doesn't change, so those laws are still intact. Okay, the only thing that changed was the law of sacrifice. That Yahweh Shai is to be our sacrifice. Is our sacrifice. But everything else is still intact. If the law wasn't, if the law didn't matter, why can you still get parasites? Why do you still get diabetes and high blood pressure? You know, why do you still die? Well, you new covenant niggas, go go jump in front of a train. You know, throw yourself off the mountain. Because according to the new covenant, you're immortal. According to the new covenant, you can't die. According to the new covenant, you, you, you can't sin. You know? You got these Negrolites and the IUIC talking about keeping the law. The, them niggas don't keep them up. They, they separate households, man. They, they cut a man off from his wife to give that wife to another man. Which is a sin unto death. That's one of the commandments. That's one of the, the major laws. Okay? You're giving people license to sin. Justifying it. Hey, the scripture says that a, 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 a person that that uh, breaks the law and teaches others to do so shall be least in the kingdom. Okay? I mean, you're going to die a horrific death. You're going to get hit with Nucos, Nuka Cola, get splashed, and then you're going to come back in the kingdom. Probably going to be one of the last ones to go back. You know? Everything's already establishing Johnny come later. You know? Because look, while the kingdom's being established, Jake will have fun. Jake will be commanding everything. Jake will be having everything decided. You know? The heathen are going to be in hardcore bondage, building everything up. Jake will be like, look, I want this there, I want that there. Jake gonna be sculpting the earth and like building everything up. And everything's gonna be handmade, hand done. You know? That way it's perfect. And you're gonna come out as one of the last. Shame yourself going around teaching lies and going around and telling your congregation to, to do things that aren't, aren't, you know, beneficial for their life, man. When the whole, when the whole uh, 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 vaccine came out, they said, are you telling your congregation not to get it? You were giving them the option. You know, you were, you were telling them to get it. You know? It's just fucked up, man. It's just a death sentence, man. Yeah, it's fucked up. You, you know, you, you don't care about the shit. 
you know, you're, you're, what does the scripture call you? It calls you, uh, 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 greedy dogs that can never have enough. Fire them, man. Yeah. Fire them. Just there for the pesos, man. Fire them, man. Just there for that purse. Luke 12 and 32, it says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's the old Bashem Yahushua's will to give the elect the kingdom. To give those that believe the kingdom. And the kingdom is going to be established on earth. You know? And he's going to save you. Bring you up into them chariots. And the chariots are going to come down with the elect. And then everything, you know, the heathen are going to get to work. You know? We're going to be joined heirs with Yahweh Shai commanding the nations. So the scripture says we're going to rule them with a rod of iron. That's the kingdom, you know, to, 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 to cease from our labors, to relax, you know, to be perfect. Because what comes with the kingdom is laws, you know, you can't have a, a city, a, a governance without law and order. And we're going to be perfect in the law. It's going to be written in our inward parts, our mind. That's what it means about it being written on our heart. You know? That's where we don't go off. It doesn't need to be take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. So this kingdom, Esau's kingdom, his rulership, is going to be stripped from him. And then all this fucking McDonald's, the golden arches, all that's just going to be destroyed. Golden you know? Which hey, goes? Food might end up being cheap here pretty soon, man, because they're talking about uh, those bugs. themselves and them evils 
what the judgment shall say. Okay, this is prophecy. That this man is going to go into slavery. That this man's kingdom is going to be destroyed. And they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy unto the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. See, so we're going to receive the kingdom. It says in all dominions, all the kingdoms of these other nations are going to be controlled by the Israelites. They're going to have their little kings, but their kings are going to have their own spells. We're going to tell them what to, what to do, how much tribute and resources they have to bring us each day. They're going to have quotas. You know, they're gonna bring us all the all the desires of our heart. You know, they're they're young, they're young mighty men. They're gonna work for us. From a youth, we can say, oh, I can see that child is gonna be a strong man when he grows up. Bring him here. Oh, oh, that daughter is gonna be fair. Set her aside for my son when he grows up. We're gonna do that. That's good. It's Isaiah 60 and 10. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. You know, like they're going to bring us all the resources. They're going to bring us whatever we want. You know, they're going to come and have to answer. Okay. That's, that's part of our reward. You know? It talks about, you know, to come and inherit those cities, you know, for utilizing those talents. You're going to be rulers over cities, where you're going to have certain, you know, key them bring you certain things. You know, you got brothers that like different things. Certain brothers like different animals. And then there's different, you know, uh, like uh, uh, breeds of animals. You know, like when it comes to cows and bulls, you got those highland cows, they're like fluffy, got curly hair. A brother might like those, another brother might like the black Angus cows. You know, different types of horses. You know, we're gonna be trained amongst each other. It's gonna be beautiful, man. How about Shimmy I was shy? Has this all established for the elect? Yeah. I was just thinking, man. I was just thinking. I wanna live by the I wanna live by the ocean, bro. That's a big ass seaport. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then you can have you have locations in all kind of different locations, bro. Junk.
feeling like the spirit of the world. It's all like a puzzle piece, man. They got a lot of fucking uh, uh, cartoons and movies about stuff like that. And then you got, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings. It's all about the rings. You know? There was one ring to rule them all. But when, we had, when you had all of them, you know, you had all that power, man. You had the Power Rangers, they all came together. Voltron, you know, they all come together to create one big, you know, like the Megazord. We're the kingdom. Now that's why Revelation 7 says that, you know, when the elect is broken, when the elect wakes up, then shall the end come. servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the end is going to come when the elect is sealed. And that's why you see everything taking place right now, man. Because we're, we're you know, the elect is being sealed more and more each day. Who knows? I mean, it could all be seen. As far as the 144,000.
you know, you're, you're, or, or it's being, hold, it's being held for you, you know, and that's what, what's going on with us, is you get, you receive the spirit, man, alright, the Lord calls you, and you know when you're called, bro, alright, you know, uh, uh, when you, when you, when the spirit hits you, or when you receive the spirit, man, there's no mistake in it, man, you know, through this uh, knowledge, it's through uh, this understanding, and it's through faith. So you have to believe that you were sealed with that down payment, okay? And that the Lord is returning to make the full purchase, man. Because that's what it says in the scriptures that the Lord's going to uh, return and is waiting to, uh, uh, you know, receive his purchased goods, man, which is the elect, you know? And so it's through the spirit, man. That's that's how you're gonna be able uh, to tell, you know, uh, uh, you know who's who's who. Is when you're gonna see somebody in the spirit, in the right spirit, because that's what it's about. All right, we establish the law because that's what somebody in the right spirit is gonna want to do. Not that the law will save you. All right. Because we're under grace. But it's that spirit that's within you that makes you to want to keep the law, bro. That makes you to want to come out here on the highways and byways. That makes you to want to serve and reverence Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shine, to believe in those names, to do the things that we do, all right, and the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shine, man, all right. For the for in sincerity and in truth, man, it's the spirit that quicken it. To quicken means to make alive, man. It says, "Be as lively stones." You know what's a lively stone, man? That's somebody, okay, that has the spirit, but you you can't persuade them of anything other than what you know they know to be true, man. Right? Because in the scriptures it tells you, uh, continue in the things that you have learned, man. That there are uh, seducing spirits out here, all right, that take, you know, unwitting jakes that believe in the truth, you know, that, that takes it. Up Mike Venus fucking green hair and look like the Joker. Yeah. The Lord put a fucking demon on him. Yeah, yes. He had them seven that, 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 that scripture that said more seven demons more powerful. Oh man. More wicked than himself. And he yeah man, he was making video, he was in his right mind. That I remember that guy. Right? Oh, I didn't I never met him, I just know. Well, he started bugging out. You know, the Lord started taking over with this. He started coming out, oh, he only wanted one woman here and then in the kingdom. That's where it started. He had a pussy demon on him. You know, and the, and the scripture do say, you know, that wine and women can make a man of wisdom to fall away. Yeah, because that's not, that's not sound doctrine. Because it tells you in Isaiah 4 1. Yeah. That seven women shall cling to one man. Because when you think about it, it says there should be, uh, in, what is it, in Mount Zion, there should be many saviors. Yeah. And what are you going to do? You're only going to save one woman. 
Out of the whole nation of Israel, you're gonna save one woman? That's not fair. That's not right. That's not, you know, love. How I was, I was uh, one when you become a small army. I was, I was, I was, well, yeah, and, and you also, can't do that with one woman. Yeah, and also too, you could be used to save a multitude of, of lives, man. But you only want one, and she's probably evil. <laughs> probably, probably evil, you know. So that's not sound doctrine. Man. Well, the majority of these women are evil, man. But you know. The Lord's going to give us the, 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 the lesser evil. Yeah, because it says that uh, a man shall be a hiding place, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how are you going to be a hiding place? you going to be a hiding place for one person, one of them, you know? Like, that's neither here nor there. This is Ephesians 1, 11. It says, In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated, According to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Mashiach, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. The Lord don't give that spirit to everyone, bro, or just anybody, you know? It says, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of His glory. And what did the Lord purchase us with? His blood. That's why we're under grace and we're here, all right, to pay it back. Yeah, our son is returning to receive his kingdom, to receive his kingdom. That's, that's, you know, he's receiving that purchase. Native Americans, you got Edomites, man. You know? You really do. Look at Koala Harris. Koala. Koala? <laughs> that's not called Kamala. Yeah, Kamala. You know? That's a terror. That's an Edomite. But they're utilizing her to get, you know, a lot of folks yeah. from these women. From Jake. You know? Because Jake thinks that's a, that's a, that's a, you know? Yeah, they want to trick you, uh, uh, worldly ass Jake's and the, well, they call it the minority vote. Yeah. <laughs> they want the minority vote. <laughs> Which they know you're not the minority, they just mean that you're insignificant to them. Right. You're minor. You're minor. You're they look, they, they look at you, uh, in the, in Dis disrespect. Disregard. Disregard. Because your votes don't fucking matter regardless. They're gonna they're gonna bring in whoever they want anyway. Which they might bring in Trump and then just smoke them. You have everything go ape shit, man. You know? Because you got the, the, the right and crowd boys and them talking about if Trump don't win, they're going to war. You know? Imagine they're gonna win and kill them. Or, or pretend to kill him. Oh man, that will send America into a bloodbath. Hell yeah. Last night we were watching a, 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 a Civil War. And that movie Civil War, man, it's just, it's just violence every fucking way, man. You know, people of just different factions and different beliefs. It wasn't even right versus left, it was just... That's how it's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be all kinds of 
mental chains on Until the manifestation of the sun. 